I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Wednesday, June 28th, our scripture is from the Gospel of Matthew, the 10th chapter, verses 5 through 23. These twelve, Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and to enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news, the kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You receive without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belts. No bag for your journey or two tunics or sandals or a staff for laborers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace come up on it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave the house or town. Truly I tell you, it would be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. See, I am sending you out like sheep in the, into the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogue. And you will be dragged before the governors and kings because of me as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. For what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not, what, who, you, for it is not who you speak, but the Spirit, your Father, speaking through you. Brother will, be, will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next, for truly I tell you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. Expecting nothing in return, Jesus said, You receive without payment, give without payment. Before doing something for another person, I don't often ask myself, What is my expectation? But after the fact, I sometimes struggle with resentment when my gestures of kindness are not reciprocated or appreciated. Jesus tells us to give our, our, of ourselves without thinking about what we will get in return. I have found that the only way to know the beauty of this message is to experience it. The freedom and release of ceasing to worry about what I might receive and focusing only on what I can give and do. Firm in the knowledge that with God I am already loved and justified and have value. I am free to give for the sake of giving, for the sake of another person or a cause, with no strings attached. Strangely, when I release the need to control what I get in exchange for giving, I get more than enough. Our prayer. God, help me to be generous in Jesus' name. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory.
forever and ever. Amen.